Five Nights at Freddy's is a very well known game brand, but what happens if we take a look at the knockoffs? Well today, we're going to be looking at them. I definitely am not doing this because I can't afford Five Nights at Freddy's. The first game we're going to be looking at is Nights at Survival Pizzeria. When I saw that this game was made in Unity, I had high hopes. I thought maybe it's a good fan game, but no. So it started off night one, default text. Hopefully this is the only night I have to do because these graphics look like a three year old made them. Anyway, the door and the light buttons, eh, simple. Um, but the camera system actually works really well. I enjoy, I enjoy the cameras, but the battery system, it runs out so quickly. And of course, because it's free, you need to watch adverts to get more battery. 3D model of a bunny came at my door for like a second, but if I just spam the light, it goes away. Same for that weird alien thing that ends up jump scaring me. This guy really came up to me and did this. Anyway, on to the next game. Knights of Scary Grex Hotel. Let's play. Okay, it's upside down. It's making me put in more effort in editing to make it look like I played this the right way up. So Grex Hotel is basically nothing like Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know why it was on this list. Um, the windows um, were see-through, and I kept, whenever I ran into boxes in the wall, I would float. So that's a fun start, and this black void with the room floating in the air, th that's fun. I met Greg, found out why he's named Greg. It's, um, it's, it's Shrek. Mike Wazowski. Where did the G come from? Anyway, um, this game was, um, yeah, no, never, ne never mind. Thank you for watching the first part. If you would like me to do a part two, um, of reviewing weird knockoff games, uh, drop a like. If this video gets to ten likes, I'll do another.